Hello and welcome back. I am Mondef and I am back on the Mine Community Feed the Beast server and I'm all alone. Oh, I'm all alone. Uh, but it's good to be back on this server. Uh, as some of you may know, I was playing on this server for a while, got started on it, and then uh, I got sick, and when I got back from being sick, the server had some technical issues, and I couldn't, like, break blocks. But you can see, uh, that's better. You can still, still, still see there's still a little bit of lag, but um, at least the game is playable for me. So we're back up and running, which is great. Now, I have done a little bit of work. I've logged in, kind of played around here, there, and the other. So uh, we have been playing with Thomcraft here. Let me just kind of show you quickly my progress. I got, uh, I don't know how much of this was done last time we were playing around together, but I have, I think, all of the transmutations. Uh, I've got uh, the whole second tier opened now, and I've got a few of the tools available, the shovel, the hoe, uh, the wand of excavation, the axe. Haven't unlocked this one, which is a lightning, and this one's the fire. Actually, um, the fire wand, wand of fire, this one is my current research project. I've got access to the furnace and to the arcane levitator. Those are fun tools. I actually started unlocking some of the golem workers, which I'm excited to play with. But today, I am more worried about um, getting some machinery set up and running. Um, specifically, I'm very interested in working our way up towards a quarry. Um, having materials and feed the beast is, is so very important. And a quarry makes collecting materials incredibly so much easier um, that we, we can't ignore this um, for any longer I don't think uh, so we need to work towards a quarry of course we are playing in the mind crack pack and we do have Greg tech on and Greg techs on hard hard so that makes us a little bit more difficult to get to um, we still have the same iron gold and diamond gears which I actually have enough materials for now I've been doing a little bit of mining but this diamond drill the diamond drill and Greg tech requires titanium and titanium requires blah 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 so on so forth industrial blast furnace and industrial blast furnace in order to get this stuff in order to get this stuff you have to have uh, industrial electrolyzer so that's where we are going with it but I'm not that stressed we'll get there we'll get there but uh, what I need to do right now is set up some basic machinery I don't even have a macerator yet right now macerators in Greg Tech if you're not familiar they're also very expensive uh, let me just pull up the recipe so you guys can see it. A lot of people don't play with Greg Tech on hard. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Can you believe that? And um, pulsating chipsets or advanced circuit. There it is right there. So you can do advanced circuits and diamonds or diamond dust. And then uh, a machine frame of some sort uh, or a, a sturdy casing or you know bronze machine holes. Uh, this is the... Machine part from any of the number of the mods in the gates or the circuits from any of the mods. So this is very, very expensive. Of course, we could go this round too with the diamond grinder, but even that requires steel and a lot of diamond dust. So I am not going that route. I am going to go um, this way. Pulverizer. The recipe for pulverizer is much more accessible. Yes, and it does the same thing. So we're going to use that. Instead of running on EU, like the... Uh, like the uh, uh, Mace Raider does. This one runs on MJ or Minecraft Jewels. Um, so I've got, oh, I should say, I've got a little bit of space set up here. I've kind of slowly been working my way up these stairs, which are brand new. Built uh, these balcony pillars here. We'll see it from the outside here in a minute, but that's all new, I think, since last time I recorded. And uh, I got this little space set up where I'm going to start setting up my machinery. Now we are up on a half block, so these machines are going to kind of whoops a daisy that's not at all don't fall off the edge please don't fall off the edge please yes these machines are going to kind of sit kind of half under the ground but i think that's okay let's see what this looks like here yeah i'm, I'm okay with that i'm okay with that it's kind of neat so here's the pulverizer Pulverizer does what the Mace Raider does, but of course runs off of uh, Minecraft Jewels, as we were talking about, which means I need to power it with an engine. So, let's see, can I fit a uh, pipe right there? No. Okay. So, let's put the pipe, I guess, over here. 
I'm using gold conductive um, because uh, it supplies more power. It's more. Uh, if I'm going to have three machines running here, I might want to power all three of them at once, and the gold power gold cable will uh, let me do that more easily. For now, no. Let's go ahead and use a brick. I think. Nope, not right there. Not right there at all. Having some hard time clicking today. Hard times clicking. There we go. And we'll make a lever. We get this powered up and running. Running, running, running. There we go. And I'm going to put a piece of coal in here for now just because I want to make sure all my... Oops, that's not how you go down. You go down over here. Uh, it's not, just because that's... Um, I have it right on me and I want to test to make sure all my piping works. Oh, here are all my goodies. I have done some mining. You see 26 diamonds. Woot woot. 20 pieces of uranium. Awesome. 32 monazite. Sweet. And let's let's test it on some iron. Because I have a bunches of iron. And here we go. Pulverizer and lever. Coal eats it. And we should be good to go. It's pumping power in. And the way these machines work from uh, from this mod is uh, they store up power in their internal buffer, and then once they have enough power, they use that as fuel, and then they'll uh, go ahead and start the cook process. So we should be almost to having enough power to pulverize one piece. There it goes. You can see it starts eating the power. Now it can still take power in, so this is still accepting power from the Starling engine, but it's now running. Um, the speed here is not dependent on how fast the energy comes in since it waits for the energy. The speed is just how fast the pulverizer works. And then we'll pulverize iron and we will get to iron dust. Exactly the way you expect to get that. Now, uh, one of the neat things about this is that when you're pulverizing a number of different things, let's see if I can find iron here, iron ore. You can see the ores. When you like, if you take a copper ore and you pulverize it, you get two copper dust, and you have a ten percent chance to get gold. So you, this is actually better than the macerator, and it's cheaper. Um, nobody tell Greg because I don't want him <laughs> to make this ridiculous too much for me. All right, but the next thing, of course, that we need is a furnace, um, and I could use a powered furnace. There is such a thing. Um, right here, powered furnace. I could use a powered furnace and this would work. Uh, this works exactly the same as a regular furnace, except instead of taking fuel, it takes uh, Minecraft jewels, but I'm actually gonna go um, for the um, the smelt, the smelt, uh, smelt induction smelter, here we go. Um, so this is what I'm gonna work towards. I won't drag you along with me because I know how um, watching things, watching people make stuff is kind of annoying. Um, but this will be, um, this will take me, make me make some, where's the, there we go, dust, which takes some iron and some nickel. So I'm going to pulverize up some iron, which I'm doing right now. I'm going to pulverize some, uh, oh, nickel. Where do we get nickel from? This is different. Greg Tech, ah, uh, Ferris, that's fine. I have Ferris. So <laughs> I'll go grab some Ferris. Do some Ferris, do some uh, iron, we'll make up one of those. I'll be back in a moment once I've had a chance to get that made. I have got the induction smelter and I am going to add it to the pile of machines here. There we go. So now we've got the pulverizer. I want the pulverizer to automatically send the pulverized stuff into the smelter, which is pretty easy to set up with these machines. Uh, it'll go here into green, here on the side, and then um, and this one we just go out on the right. So actually it is automatically uh, configured. So let's grab some iron and make sure that that works. If you're familiar with this uh, induction smelter, you'll also know that this won't automatically smelt yet. We still have a couple things left to do in order to make this work. Make it auto smelt. So that's running. Uh, I switched the fuel here in the Sterling engine. I flipped it to Elementum. So as long as we've got access to that, we I figured we might as well use it. Uh, use kind of extend the usage of our um, coal here. So that should automatically pass into here, which it does. Great. Now the recipes for these they require 
you know, more stuff. So, for example, like, gold needs sand, and in fact, iron does as well. Can we straight induction smelt the iron into two ingots? Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't realize that that was set up like that to do that. Iron with uh, sand. So actually, well, if we take this middle step, we actually can have a chance to get um, the extra material from it. Right? Ah, uh, there it was. Iron gives us a chance to give us nickel, 10% chance. So yeah, we could stick it straight in there, and that would be faster, but we would actually, um, it would take less energy, but we'd have, we wouldn't get as much nickel. By the way, when I did the ferris, my very first ferris, I got a platinum dust. 10% <laughs> chance I got it the first time. Mwah. All right, so we need sand, which means we're going to need another pulverizer to pulverize cobblestone. So time to get crafting. I'm also going to craft another, uh, two more machines. So I'm going to craft two machines, and I'll be back in a second. I have my two new machines. But in order to really hook these up, I am going to need to reroute some of the power um, since I'm going to need to have power back here. So I think we can do that. It's kind of ugly. So let's do, let's rework this a little bit. Let's get rid of that. And let's see here. My inventory is all full again. Full of gunk. Yep. Let's see. Let's put that there this on top of that. Do I have the lever? I do. So if we put the lever here, or if I just put, I can put the lever on top of, well not on top of that. That's not at all what I meant to do. Give me back, give me back. There we go. I could put uh, a full block right there and then put that there with the piece of redstone test. Old school redstone. Oh, you can't put redstone dust on that? Oh, it's a, it's a half block. Um, Alright, well, if we take another one, we do that. That should work. That should power that guy. And if we give it elementum, it should power it right up, which it sure does. Great. My two new machines, I have an igneous extruder here and a pulverizer. Of course, the pulverizer is going to make sand that will feed into this one. So we want purple feeding from the top. Oops. I have some lightning going on, not from the back. So purple will feed from the top, which is this one. This will feed red down, like that. Perfect. And then my igneous extruder here will feed the orange out to the right side, not to the bottom like that. There we go. Just like that. There we are. Now all we need is a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. And this will start creating sand for us, which should get everything powered up and ready to roll. This is still kind of ugly like this. Let's see if we can... Maybe, maybe I like that better. Yeah, but now it's not powering down there. Well, no, it was good the way it was. It's good like that. I can skin over that, I think. So this is our output at the moment. Um, so we need sand. All right, let me go get... I can get a bucket of water fairly easily. Here, I got my... I don't think I have any buckets at the moment, so I need to... Actually, I can probably get away with one. There's water out of my water chandelier. If you haven't seen that, that is an infinite water source. Oh, did that go straight in? That's kind of cool. Neato. All right. And then I need lava, which we can get from all the way down my giant mining hole. I know there's a big lava source down here. And right there. Ta da! Alright, see you at the top of the ladder. This only takes 50 hours. And we're at the top. Our 
Magnesium extruder needs some lava. Let's check to make sure it's set to cobblestone, which it sure is. Making cobblestone, outputting it to here. So it's pulverizing that into sand. Check to make sure it makes sand and that it puts it in the right place. Sand made, put it down here, it smelts it, and we've got iron, and on our first iron processing, we get slag. All right. Very good, very good. So we now are getting iron, and we're getting slag. There we go. Wah. Yes. Make more. Yeah, that was a fake one. <laughs> Interface didn't update. So we're generating slag. Slag is useful for... Um, Wow, well, you can smelt it into gray wool, but that's... Well, it's not showing us the good things you can do with it. <laughs> you can uh, use it to increase the your, um, generation of certain materials. Um, but uh, I don't know that it's specifically extremely useful, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. We can deal with it. Not a big deal. So... Actually, this one doesn't take power, so we can actually... Yeah, you can see it doesn't even connect. We can actually save all of these powered lines and actually leave this available for a wall. So there's our machine. Um, it's a very simple machine. Uh, it processes ores. I could rearrange these if I wanted to and have, you know, these two buried and then... Ooh. Well, no, then I have to run power lines around the back. That'd be ugly. Yeah. Um... This is where we put our ores. This will pulverize it, send it into here, which will smelt it, collect our ores and our slag here. Um, this part takes care of itself uh, as well. When Once this gets full, one of the reasons I love these machines is when this gets full, it'll just stop. I don't have to worry about overflow. I don't have to worry about pipes and items falling on the ground. It'll just stop since it doesn't have anywhere to send it. So they'll just fill itself up and stay full all the time. This will stay full of sand once it catches up <laughs> um you know as long as it's got power because this one does require power to run the pulverizer of course and this all just runs off of my sterling engine here uh which is running off of elementum and i kind of buried it thinking oh i'll just bury it and not have to worry about it but i'm realizing that i actually do have to feed it elementum so did i get it or did it fall off the world oh, where did you go elementum i need you I want you to stay in my life, Elementum. Where'd you go? Mm. So I think I need to put it up here. Um. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna put it up here. We're just gonna kind of set this like this. And I should keep that powered, but of course now it needs fuel, and my Elementum, I think, fell off the world. Yep, there we go. Good. So now let's just go ahead and kind of floor this up a little bit. Make things pretty. Because, you know, just because we want to have nice machines doesn't mean we want to have an ugly base. So, we want to have a nice looking place to live. And so, we will polish up the floor. That lightning is noisy. Noisy, noisy, noisy lightning. Um... Yeah, how does that look? This right here, this lever, this needs to move. Because this should be like that. And then the lever will need to get positioned. Like, pop it like that, yeah. That's better. Let's see what we can do about um, kind of covering this up a little bit. Oh, that's too thick. That's far too thick. This is a panel. What we wanted was a cover. Covers are thinner. These are the thinnest they get. Is it? No. That doesn't that looks like it's too thick. No, it's not. That's alright. That's as thick as thin as they get, I guess. Like that, something like that. And then um we do this for the sake of consistency on the, the build. Oops. That's on the wrong level. Let's go here and there. No, that looks too thick. I see, like, that one even looks different. 
Oh. Duh, I only made two of these, so then it flipped over to using the thicker ones. <laughs> there you go. That looks, that looks better. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, oops. Is that going? That did, that did what I wanted it to do. Good. And here's with these machines again. The shift clicking with the red power blocks. Go where I want you to go. Just put you against that. Perfect. That works. Just go ahead and cover up over the top of the whole machine here. Give it a smooth front. We're going to make one more thing. We're going to put a lip. It runs across here, like that. We're going to do a little bit more of that. And like that. There we are. I'm going to put a lip here. I'm actually going to cover up a little bit more of this engine. Um, maybe not this one. That one looks a little funny. Yeah. And, uh... I wonder if there's a better place to put the lever. Can you put the lever right on top of an engine? Like right here? I don't think you can, but... Let's verify that, because it would be nice. Oh, you sure can! Where's my Omni wrench so I can turn the direction of that lever? <laughs> Alright, so now actually that, that looks good. That gives me access to the engine, so I can feed it coal. And so I'll turn it on right here on the top. That runs this whole machine, and... It's all self-encapsulated. Very good, nice, very good, nice. I don't know where the G came from, it just kind of came out. Yep, that works for me. My auto smelter, I can now smelt and process ores. So I'm going to be working on that before the next time I see you guys. But for now, I am out of time. Sorry, this is a bit of a short episode. But I had to do a lot of testing this morning on the server, make sure we were ready to go. But we're back. My community, Feed the Beast Let's Play. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video and or this series, leave me a like or a comment. Either way works for me. And I'll see you next time.